Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Japandi, I'm gonna be talking to you about five things I wish I would've done differently before coming back to Japan. So the first thing I wish I would've done differently was obviously take learning Japanese seriously. Now, as you guys know, I have a very piecemeal understanding of Japanese. Uh, most of it was um, stuff that I learned when I was first stationed in Yokosuka and just kind of picking up little words here and there. And when I came back, I figured I would just, you know, get right back into it and learn Japanese proper by hanging out with the locals. Now, obviously, considering the uh, situation that happened shortly after rearriving, uh, that didn't really happen. So I ended up spending a lot of time indoors and away from people. So looking back on it, I do wish I would have took learning Japanese seriously because even before I came back, I also took a couple Japanese classes uh, when I first came back to America. And it didn't really go out that well because it was very textbooky, you know, just reading through like the Genki books, basically. And it was just a lot of reading and writing, which I didn't know at all my first time in Japan. So I am glad that I went through it, but it just wasn't really all that interesting. So I wish I would have uh, took a little bit more time to uh, figure out a learning plan for myself and not just for uh, my class grades. Now that my time in school is gonna be coming to an end in less than two months at the time of this recording, that's gonna be my main goal once I get a job and all that secured is to take learning Japanese seriously. And I got a couple friends who are more than willing to teach me, so I'm definitely gonna be taking you guys up on that offer and uh, get good at the Nihongos, desio, nay. So the second thing I wish I would have done before coming back to Japan was spend more time with friends and family. Now, this was the pre-situation times where I was able to actually do that. I just wish I would have spent a little more time with them when I came back to America because I always knew I was going to go back to Japan at some point. I just didn't know when or how. And I felt like if I'd spent too much time with my friends and family, I would become a little too attached and would sort of lose sight of my goal, which was to go back to Japan and graduate from college. And turns out I managed to do both at the same time, but I didn't know of that path at the time. And looking back on it now, I haven't been back in America in almost three years at this point. Um, I did live with my folks for a little while before moving to North Carolina to hang out with my brother and uh, work on my college. While I am grateful of the time that I did get to spend with them, you know, I always wish I could have spent just a little more time, um, especially looking back at uh, how things played out for me since coming back to Japan. And so the third thing I wish I would have done differently before coming back to Japan would have been not bringing so much stuff with me. Now, at the time, in fairness, I did try to par as much stuff down as I could and I was really worried about not being able to find clothes in my size in Japan because I had that problem before. And coming back to Japan, I was a little bit heavier than I was when I left it. Um, I was on the path to uh, being a bit better though with my health. Lost about 30 pounds by the time I came back to Japan, which I promptly gained back because of the uh, situation, which uh, that's gonna be another thing I'm gonna be working on once school's all said and done. But I was just worried that I wouldn't have enough clothes and stuff, so I brought about three weeks, probably closer to like a month's worth of clothes with me when I could have gotten by just fine on two weeks worth of clothes. And especially looking back on how things shook out with uh, having to lighten the load, so to speak, with uh, my luggage, I had to end up throwing out a bunch of stuff I was gonna bring with me anyway. And had I known that, I probably would have ended up just selling it making a little bit more money, or at least not have stuffed it in a big ass sea bag and brought it with me all the way from America. And so the fourth thing I wish I would have done before coming back to Japan would have been to change my mailing address. So I was under the misconception that I could just change my mailing address online, which is how I'd always done it whenever I moved within America. And I thought, you know, if I go overseas, like what's the difference, right? I could just change it online so you know once I get my living situation sorted I'll just do it then but as it turns out in order to change your mailing address to an international one 
you have to do it either in person or you have to call up the post office, which I've tried to do many times since coming back to Japan with uh, no success. And I'd gone to the post office a bunch doing、uh, eBay stuff, you know, just sending off packages and stuff like that. So, you know, the people in the mailroom knew me pretty well at that point. So I think I could have gotten by with changing to an international address because I'd already had my guest house figured out at that point. And now it's just a big pain in the ass to have to manually redirect things when I could have just t o o k care of it at the post office. And the fifth thing that I wish I would have done differently before coming back to Japan would have been to not worry as much. Now, you guys know me, I'm a natural worry wart, so that's kind of a hard one to not have done. But there was just a lot of things going through my mind at the time, you know, with coming back to Japan and just making sure that everything would go smoothly. And especially because I was on a very tight budget at the time. So I was very worried about just a lot of different things, especially financials. It's more or less about knowing how to react to those things than being proactive to every single thing. And don't get me wrong, it is good to be proactive with a lot of things. But, you know, in reality, there's a lot of stuff that's just playing out of our control. So the only thing that we can do is react to it as best as we can with what we have. So, yeah, guys, those were five things I wish I would have done differently before coming back to Japan. And with that said, this is Andy. Sign up for now. And as always, and forever, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.